Well, after waiting months and months and months, we finally have almost, I'm pretty sure we have, I, okay, I think we have all the parts, but it's gonna be a little bit different. So let me introduce a good old friend. Oh, good lord. A good old friend that has gained a little bit of weight. Oh, oh goodness. <sighs> It's computer part. Let's, uh, whew, uh, just do the thing. Now, computer part has brought us a lot of uh, good things in the past, but computer parts has also brought us a lot of bad things, such as things that don't work. Now, everything that I showed you in the last video detailing what this was gonna be is different, except for a few things. One of which is the RAM. The second thing is a computer. <sighs> We're gonna use a, uh, an idea center because this is the best computer, right? This is the absolute, it even has a Pentium from 2017. That was a bad computer even when it was new, but I'm gonna use that for something else later. Um, all right, so going back over the parts list, this is going to be the best of the best computer from 2015. And I've extended it to not only the computer, but everything. And I mean everything. The mouse, the monitor, the headset, the keyboard, and the, uh, the webcam, because it, why not? But... I brought back the wonderful finger condom. I still don't know what that is. Um, let's go and grab things. So I have a generic disk drive. I don't even know when this was made. When was this made? 2008. That should be fine. I have, this will be the display port. Another disk drive. I completely forgot what I even put in here. Alrighty. A keyboard. That's for the Lenovo. All right, what else is in here? Ah, the RAM. Lenovo. Ah, yes, we'll need this. The power supply has not changed. This is still the, I'm not gonna pronounce that, a AGV 750 watt. Now, after looking and doing a little bit more research, I probably should have gotten a little bit more, but it'll work fine. It, it's, it's not gonna break anything, probably. You know, I'm gonna put computer parts on the floor because I don't have room. All right, now for storage, we're gonna go with this Western Digital WD5000 AAKX. Just a random 500 gigabyte hard drive. There's nothing really special about that. Now, what really comes in special is this. This is an Earn, 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 it's a, it's a, this is something I got from Walmart. Now, I've noticed that Walmart is increasingly getting better for used electronics for some reason. This is actually really old. This was from 2015. They just had in the box. I have no idea why they had this in the box, but sure, why not? All right, then we, then we have the graphics card. Now this graphics card, as shown in the previous videos, is not a 3060. Instead, we will be using not one GTX Titan X, but two GTX Titan Xs. Because SLI. Now, of course, in order to get these to work simultaneously, we have to have this. Ah, there we go. This EVGA, wow, this thing is massive. SLI bridge. Now, supposedly this should work. 
And these are also surprisingly expensive for what they are. So we have the bridge. Now, this has not changed at all. This is the processor, which is going to be the i7-4790K, and also the only i7 processor that I currently possess. After reviewing my last videos, there is a slight chance that um, it is the processor that was bad, and if it is, then I'm taking it apart, because that would look cool on the wall. The motherboard has not changed either. This motherboard is a Gigabyte GAH9F Gaming 3. <sighs> All right, oh yes, and we're missing one more component. So, well, I mean, it's a webcam, Logitech webcam. Supposedly this was the best at the time. I mean, it's, it's a webcam, what are you gonna get? Now this, this is all very nice. We all like these, except for the RAM. The RAM is still going to be the DDR3 like it was before because DDR4 was not quite mainstream yet. I think it's like a year away, like 2016 may have been it, but it'll be 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Now, as this build goes along, I will start getting better and better parts. Like, this is going to be a water cooler. This might stay the same. I don't know. I'm still debating on this. But I found some Corsair RAM that was much better than this. But for some reason, it's still like $200 for 8 gigabytes. So I'm going to wait off on that one for a little while because I don't want to pay $200 for DDR5, much less 3. So we're going to wait on that for a minute. Now, the hardest thing that I had to find would have been the case, because as stated in previous videos, the case that I had before sucks. It was awful. I hated that thing. It didn't work, so I decided to get a new one. And I decided to get the best of the best of 2015 and not skimp. So I chose a case that in 2015 was $500. And after buying it, for not $500, um, yeah, I can see why. It is extremely nice. Oh, good lord. It's also very heavy. Oh, and big, very, very large. Yeah, this, this is a freaking computer case. This is a Fractal Design R5, I believe. And it is like, I mean, I have never seen a case like this before. And will be more than enough to fit all of this. All of this. Hmm, actually, I do not know. Future me, how about you tell me how much the prices on all of these would have been? Alrighty, so just talking about the tower itself. The case was $500. The motherboard would have been about 250 the graphics cards together would have been $2,200 with the RAM, when I eventually get the Corsair Dominator Platinum, will be $2,460. The CPU was $400, and the Max CPU cooler that you see right here would have only been about $50. The hard drives that I will go with later in the video will be $494, bringing the total tower build to $6,354. Thank you very much. Now, this is just what's going inside of the computer. There's still some things that I need to grab for you, because these are the things that you would most likely have more issues trying to find, um, other than, you know, this, because this is probably the hardest out of all these to find. This was, like, insane. But, here are the peripherals that I have chosen. Now, the peripherals for this computer, honestly, I have been actually using for quite a while because I love these, such as the Razer Deathstalker Ultimate. I mean, first of all, what happened to names like that? I mean, even with the graphics card, GTX Titan X, that's cool. What is the best of the best called now? 4090 Ti. I mean, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't sound the same. But anyways, we have this really nice Razer Deathstalker Ultimate. The only thing and only complaint that I have about this is the membrane keyboard. I really don't like that, but to be honest, that's it. 
I mean, this screen on the right side doubles as a trackpad. You have little shortcuts you can have up here, some of which that came with it from factory don't work because, you know, that was almost 10 years ago. But this is still a heck of a computer. Now, what will you do when you pair something with a heck of a computer keyboard? You get a heck of a computer mouse. I have chosen to get the Razer Mamba Wireless. Now this is the 2015 model, I believe the first, but don't quote me on that. But this mouse can go up to 16,000 DPI, which will never be used. This mouse feels so good in your hand. I mean, it's so smooth. It, the, it, you can adjust the travel for the clicks. I haven't, but you can. The only thing, only thing about what I have bought is the fact that it didn't come with the dongle. I bought these separately, which was a mistake. So, I had to get the wire, which took three weeks because I could not find the right one. Trying to find one of these is like trying to find this. I, I'm probably just stupid, but it took me too long. But anyways, it still works. As for the headset, it's going to be the Audio-Technica ATH-ADG1. Thank you, future me. I can't remember things because I'm slightly special. Um, but that headset, again, is very difficult to get. I have not been able to get my hands on one, sadly. Uh, as well as a computer monitor that would be comparable. Um, now, 1440p gaming did exist, and in fact, the graphics cards can support 4K. Um, now, saying that, in 2015, there were not a whole lot of 4K monitors, nor even 1440p monitors. Those were still, like, very high-end and expensive. And people who have had them have either thrown them out or still have them because, you know, they're nice. So, I do not have the monitor just yet, but the only two things I'm missing from all this would be the monitor and the headset. Those are the only two things that I'm missing. So, I would say this is pretty good. But again, this has also been almost, you know, six months ago, so it's time to start kind of putting everything back together. Now, as I said before, one of the problems that I had with my PC, one of the problems that I had with my PC not starting up most likely was due to this little thing right here, the 4790K. Now, I am very disappointed, I'll be very disappointed if this doesn't work, but... I mean, the good thing is they're not that expensive, so you don't really have to worry about that. Now, let's start putting together a computer. Alrighty, so <laughs> with a little pupper in the top. Alrighty, let's go ahead and put this thing together. Now that the processor's in the motherboard, we can... Well, let's just try to actually attach the... Let's try to attach this, which I, again, I got this from Walmart for like 30 bucks. I'm just going to go ahead and say, I even found a fan for a 486 on there, like brand new in the box. I don't, I'm still confused of why they have it or how they have it, but yeah, if you want to get, apparently they do. So anyhow, you get all the warranties and such, I, I don't know, I, I just don't know. Um, no. I need my cutter opener. And, uh, yeah, that also shows that I've never actually opened this up before, so I didn't know if it was a scam or not, but, uh, you know what? This actually looks legit. That's... Yeah. Near, near max? Erner max? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Never mind. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Here we go. So now a lot of the times I've also said, wow, this is actually a sharp looking. Hmm. And it comes with, no, it doesn't. You know what? I might not just because you told me to. Alrighty. So we have the 
CPU cooler itself and some socket thingies. This is going to take a minute. Well, come on, fast forwarding. Yeah, it, even comes, it actually comes with its own little thermal paste. Hmm. Cool. All right. Hey, look at there. <laughs> 30 bucks. Hmm. All right. Let's get this done. All right, so we've gotten, if, if you haven't been able to tell, I don't put a lot of heat sinks on mine because usually the computers that I deal with, it's literally, you get it, thermal paste, done. So yeah, th this is kind of a new experience with me. I, I've done it once before, but this is stupidly complicated. And I, well, you know, again, compared to what I've done. So I, uh, 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 but, now looking at it, this is actually easy, and I make things stupidly complicated, so awesome. Um, so what it looks like I have to do, let's throw that not there, whatever. So the way it looks like this is gonna fit is I'm going to put this on the CPU, put this little thing through here, yeah, I can see the groove. That'll sit there, and then I'll tighten it down on there. Cool, all right. Yeah, that seems simple enough. correctly um i retraced my steps to make sure and just as a side note this is the most difficult time i've ever had trying to get thermal paste out of something i mean this stupid little thing i mean granted it is almost 10 years old but still geez anyways so that should be everything on here so yeah that's the cpu cooler let me get all this cleaned up it's, boy this is a lot the other cool thing about the CPU fan is that it also, uh, you can put another fan in, which, yeah, I guess does make sense, but it's just nice to put another fan in. I might do that at some point if I can find another Erner Max. Erner Max. Sure. If I can find another one of those. Um, alrighty. Let's get that, put all this stuff back in the box, and I'd say that's, uh, that's set. There is sound, oh Lord have mercy. <laughs> There's soundproofing all throughout the inside of this thing and it is wonderful. It is, it, it's, it, it just, this case just feels like quality and I love it. Also, if you, ha if you couldn't tell before, there's a lot of space for hard drives and I intend to fill all of these, whether it be with SSDs or normal HDDs, <laughs> but it comes with this little, in the tray, it comes with everything you'll need in this little box. So let's go ahead and put this, let's, let's just put this thing in.
Alrighty, so I believe that I have all of them in except for one because it doesn't want to come out. So maybe this should come out. No! Great heavens. There she goes. See? Told you. Now that we can kind of sort of almost maybe see everything in here, let's get the RAM plugged in. So let's do... Let's put in that last screw. That's not the ones I'm looking for. Because I still haven't found what I'm looking You know, I'm pretty sure I made that joke in the first video. Um, yeah, fun fact, I was actually going to make a second video much earlier, but then found out that there was something else that didn't work. So, consequently, I stopped. All right, let's put this... Later. Whoop. Alrighty. So now that we have the RAM in, uh, let's start getting some of the wiring and the power supply. Alrighty, now we have everybody's favorite thing to do. Wow, this thing likes to resonate. But everybody's favorite thing to do, which is going to be, <sighs> okay, it's gonna be wiring. All of it. Yay. Uh, and also chances are I might not be uh, filming all of the wiring just because of how long it's going to take. It, it's probably gonna take me a long time. I don't like wiring, but I'm gonna make it look nice as possible too. So let's get it. Alrighty, so now I, I did the wiring off camera, which I'm just gonna say, I didn't realize it, but with this motherboard and the way that this case is situated, made it like a hundred gazillion times easier because everything's just right there. I love it. All right, so uh, now that we have all of the wiring, which I had to do off camera because I'm, a, I thought it was going to take me a lot longer than it actually did. And yes, I apologize for redoing the light right now, but I got everything in there. I think. Yes. And I made sure to seat everything that needed to be seated, and now is time for the fun part. Graphics card. So, the good, oh, I forgot to plug in the fan. They torqued these things down, I swear. All right. All right, now we have one GPU in. Let's get the other. Now that middle one might not even be necessary. But there's only one way to find out. Alrighty. Oh. Come on. All right, so that's both the GPUs plugged in, not tightened. And like I said, this is the first time using SLI. So let's see if it will. <sighs> well, turns out that's not gonna work, so. Yay. Yeah. All right, so um, uh, <laughs> I'll have to find another um, bridge for this. I might end up having to do a soft bridge, but I'll figure that out. Um, if if uh, someone has a suggestion in the comments, maybe that might also be quite helpful. All right, so there's, the G there's a GPU. We will uh, install this one, I guess, in the next video. All right, now, now that we have the... Uh, the really only thing, you know, this, that's, that was kind of a disappointment, but now looking at it, yeah, that probably wouldn't have worked anyways. Um, I'll need to find another bridge. I was hoping that this would work, but, you know, it's used, so I guess I have this now. Which means I might be doing a 1080 Ti build, which would be sick. Alright, so now the 
PCIe plug, which seems to be overly complicated, which, what, where does what go? This go in here? Alrighty, so there's the GPU plugged in, there's the CPU. I have not plugged in the case fans because I, I just want to make sure it's actually going to start, uh, which is still a question at this point. Um, I think that's really all that's left to do is to start it, because uh, let's see here. I don't have anything, any parts left, so that could also be my fault, but... All right, let's find out. All right, so I have the cord. Now, the first thing I look out for is any odd noises. So first, let's plug it in. It has power. Power's going to it. Looky there. There, it isn't turning on and off. It isn't doing, wow, that is, I've never, okay, so this motherboard hasn't properly worked before. So that's new and that's, actually sick, okay. Yeah, that fan's, oh, I don't need to do that. All right, so all the fans are on. So let's turn it off. Good. That is also an incredibly quiet PC, but I guess I'm also not used to quiet PCs. All right, and just to note, I do know that the wiring looks awful, but again, right now, this is only supposed to be functional. I just want it to turn on. Definitely appreciated. Wow, I like that. All right, so now it's time to put in the hard drive. Uh, optical drives, I might wait on because I don't have the proper uh, cords to do so, but it's on, it's running. That's what matters for now. All right, so the good thing about all of this is that <laughs> got this recently. If you know what it is, then you know what it goes to. And if you know what it goes to, I have one of those too. The good thing about the, oh, that's not the right, oh, whatever. Um, uh, do you know what? Just, I'm gonna put this hard drive in and we'll see how far it gets, if I get any codes or if nothing happens. Hard drive is running. I'm gonna put the dampers on there as well. Okay, let's try it now. It's reading. Now, I also have no idea what's on this hard drive. I have so many that there's a chance that could be Linux or Windows 7 or 8, 8 and a half. I don't know what happened after that. It was, I know it's not Windows 10 or 11, but... Yeah, pretty much anything would be great out of that. Um, <laughs> there's even a chance that it's just a bad hard drive. But, looks like everything's okay. Now it's just a matter of uh, putting things on there, which we will do in tomorrow's video, or at least for me, it'll be tomorrow. But for the next video, we'll be the software side of this, and hopefully me being able to figure out to how to get another one of these, because obviously this is not gonna work, but I have it now, so I'm gonna have to use this in a video. But for now, I have a computer that turns on and it kind of looks ugly, but it's gonna be closed, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I, I make sure to keep you posted on Twitter about this as well. It's gonna be at TSN, or at official T-N-S-L, you know, I'm just going to put it up on the bottom. Um, but yeah, everything should be here. Well, I'm honestly, I'm just excited. I'm going to make sure to fill up all of these bays with the best of the best hard drive at the time, which is this, as well as some SSDs maybe. Um, but yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching the video. Take care.